Azilaga Tindi, Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee, Laga President Gatiriba, Ekta Press Briefing Dishe, Congress Pawan Timabunde. And I got home way the Tai Kuishiki, Itusal Elections Day, Taiki Dikia Segulido, intending candidates can Takan Iku destination vision or manifesto Natagina, Polab Shiti Kiasi United Amengis and Edishe. I mean, so many generations, Joakali Narinder Moti, Yeti, a great spot in a public address. It will be a good thing. It will be a meaningful address. PM Moti, who will be false assurance around central schemes, like false implementation, can like a Kotai Kui Taxi on it to Amengi Tanadisha. There will be a good thing. Moti G is completely away from the interest of the Nagas and he wanted to see that Naga political parties dies as a natural date. We need to press briefing the Adam David Taik Tatsa Naidi Na Takshe. I.B. Ami Khan, it will be press briefing over the detail for us. As we come down to close the general election for the State Assembly for 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly, I would like to summarize the entire election, what actually has happened in this few days' time. We have witnessed the way our intending candidates and candidates have rushed without destination. Many of the candidates are fighting without destination, without vision, without manifesto. This is what we could see. We also have witnessed a lot of national leaders addressing a lot of relays in various districts, especially Dimapur, where in All India Congress Committee President Malik Karam Karge and also Prime Minister Modi has addressed the audience indicating the will of the political parties. I think it is clear from listening to the All India Congress Committee President and also Modi that All India Congress Committee President had made things very clear that he will uphold the aspiration of the people of Nagaland by way of upholding Article 371A. He also have assured, given opportunity in 2024, the agreed, polit agreed political solution will be implemented. He also has assured the freedom of religion and restoration of governance to give freedom to all citizens for all practices and day-to-day -day life. I think Karge, who has also approved the election manifesto of Congress, had elaborated at length about Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee, which is our promise, our commitment to the people. I will not elaborate that. I have also summarized and heard Mr. Modi. He is completely away from the interests of Nagas. He wanted to see that Naga political problem dies as a natural death. He did not say a word about settlement about implementation of what he has agreed with the Naga national workers. He has forgotten his promise as usual. He said Naga political problem has been resolved. 
but he has forgotten that. Now he is talking about huge cash transfer to the people. But in our campaign we have seen that the haves and the have-nots classification has become too white in our society. The poor class are growing poorer. The rich class are growing richer. And they are building palace buildings and palatial buildings and acquiring almost all the land and properties of the poor. This is a dangerous trend in our society. We have seen that Modi did not have any word, any meaningful address to us, in spite of, I mean, uh, we could only hear him talking about some false assurance and false, false implementations of the central schemes. Now, this is the difference between the two national political parties. Other political parties, I don't think they have given enough vision statement, general thinking were assured in few places, but then there is no specific assurance or commitment to the people. We have experienced 20 years of this government and we don't have basic amenities like water supply, road, we don't have Hardly we have a half a day power supply. We don't have medical college. We don't have engineering college. We don't have infrastructures that are required to facilitate employment. We're sinking. Nagaland is sinking from bad to worse. I think it's time we should change. And the intellectuals, I want to appeal to the intellectual levels to guide the labor classes who doesn't understand the vision statement. They have lost almost foresight because of the hardship they live. Most of the, more than 30 to 40 percent of our people are living hand to mouth. They don't have their own residentials, they don't have their own building. They live on rented house and they are not bothered about development because it is not their property. Especially this is happening in Dimapur district. Therefore, the intellectuals should try to educate these labor classes and guide them in a proper manner, wherein we have vision for everyone to live happily and with prosperity. I also, also observe that Dimapur constituency where I am contesting is not more than a slum area. We don't have road, we don't have water supply. I was talking to, I mean, I was moving around almost all the colonies. There is no colony that have black dog road, except in potholes and other places no, no drain, no, even the dustbins are not managed, waste management is not there. People are living in between and surrounding that waste dumping area where health hazard continues for years together. But 
Nagaland state government, despite the protests from the people, have not paid even concern, have not shown any concern. This is what we have seen. Now, in this situation, only the only party which has committed to implement agreed political solution is the Congress. The only party which has committed to uphold the integrity of Nagaland is Congress. The only party that has committed to provide go to restore governance is only the Congress party. And all other political parties have no concern about law and order and also solution. Therefore, I think our people, before you vote, people used to talk to me, you are too late, Congress is too late, as if they have already casted their vote. But I know nobody has casted vote as yet. So before casting your vote, if you are telling us that you are too late, I think it is wrong. It is not late. You, as long as you have not casted your vote, it is not let. You can change your decision even this night. Or just in the polling station, you can change the decision in favor of right thing. What is morally right and where you can find your future. So therefore, the issue, the question, the people telling us that you are too late, I think, is not late. If you have not casted your vote, it is not late. You can still take a right path, take a right decision to make decisions. This is uh, our content. Post election, post 23 election, I can observe that it will be a complete fractured mandate. And the infighting between the alliance will have the track line even after the post alliance. Therefore, <clears throat> I am confident that secular-minded political parties will come together to salvage Nagaland from disintegration, to salvage the aspiration of our Christian society, to salvage the aspiration of our civil societies who have been protesting for implementation of political solution. And therefore, I am not negative that the regional secular alliances will not form the government. We will form the government. I think BJP and alliance will land into trouble after a few months. If we don't do it, it is not going to be a comfortable government. If, if the Congress and Alliance cannot, I mean, like-minded political parties cannot form the government, there is still going to be a trouble, and this is not going to last long. But as Karge has also made amply clear that Congress is coming, Congress and non-BJP parties are coming back in 2024. Congress also will have a government here in Nagaland and we shall provide alternative to the people. Therefore, I appeal to the voters not to be disheartened, but then vote for what you really want, for what change you want to see and feel. This is my appeal to the voters.
Well, you all know BJP and NTPP are already fighting with LJP and RPI. So now our LJP, RPI are fighting against NDPP. I think that is very clear thing. There's already 20 out of 28 election states in the nation. Only 12 are BJP ruling states and uh, 16 are non-BJP states. And I think um, the BJP may be ruling in UP, but then um, they are going down there. They, will, they may not even get 50%. So with the Karnataka Congress coming back, there will be a complete uh, change in the political equation in the nation. That is